All right, we're going to go back to the questions in just a minute, but now we'd like to welcome Kara to the show. Hi, Kara. Hi. Hi. I, I would shake your hand, but it was so hard <laughs> tonight. It's a little busy. Um, so we have Penelope here, who Penelope. is a western hog nose snake. All right. Hey, where is the snake found in the wild and what type of habitat? So these types of snakes are um, found in the U.S., but mid-U.S., so okay. nice, dry, arid areas. Um, they're also found in some places in Canada and Mexico as well. Okay. Interesting. So how long or how big is uh, Penelope going to get? When so she yeah, gets so she's grown? little. Yeah. She, she <laughs> she's just tiny. a little one. Um, she will get to be about three feet. So okay. we just got her recently. Um, I think she's under a year. Um, okay. so she'll get to be about three feet when she's full grown. But if, if she was a boy, she would only be about 18 inches. So really? this species, oh. the, the female is bigger. much, much larger than the male. No kidding. Wow. What makes Penelope different from other snakes? Penelope has some really interesting defense tactics that we'll talk about a little bit later. She's right. really, really cool. She does very interesting stuff. But one of them, if you look at her, you can tell that she kind of looks like a rattlesnake. So, yeah, um, she does. A mimicry? Lot of, yeah, mimicry, yeah, okay. definitely. Very cool. So with uh, the hog nose would probably indicate that's kind of what her name. What does the curve up nose yeah, so uh, she, on Penelope do for her? So she has this really cool nose that's curved completely up. Yep. Oh, um, yeah. Looks just like a, a hog nose would be. Okay. Um, the reason that she has that is to help her to burrow. No it kidding. really helps so that she can push the dirt, she can move the dirt, and she can get into small burrows. They'll actually um, use help for moles and things like that too, and they'll hide in their holes. <laughs> right. But that's usually where they'll hide. Cool. Is this snake harmful? This snake is not. There is a big controversy about whether or not this snake is venomous. This snake does not have a venom gland, so okay. it cannot be considered venomous because it is missing that gland. Okay. Although it does have really interesting teeth. So it has um, rear-facing back teeth, which it uses for something very cool, um, which is why she is different from other animals. Th what they do is they are referred to as toad poppers, and they will actually use their fangs to pop a toad. So Ooh. what a toad or frog Ooh. will do if it's feeling threatened and it feels like it's about to get eaten, mm -hmm. which is her prey, they will poof up right. with air to try and um, make it look like Bigger. they can't fit in, sure. in the snake's mouth. But the snake is smart enough to know that as long as it gets rid of that air, it can swallow it. Oh, so nice. what it will do <laughs> is pop the toad, deflate the toad, and then eat the like toad. Like popping a balloon. Yeah, yep. <laughs> How does Penelope protect herself? She can do a lot of really interesting things. Um, so one thing that she can do, even though she looks like a rattlesnake, she actually mimics a viper. So she takes the top of her head and she actually flattens it out. She and just she did does, that a little bit. Yeah, she there. did it a little bit. She does what we call hood. Right. And she almost fully flattens when she does it. And okay. she, then she'll also hiss and she'll actually strike just like a viper would do. So it looks very similar mm -hmm. to a viper. If that doesn't work, what she will do then is she'll actually flip over onto her back and go into this very dramatic um, playing dead scene. Okay. She'll smell as if she's dead. She will actually sometimes throw up her last meal. Ah. Um, she will lay with her, ha her mouth open with her <laughs> tongue hanging out and fully pretend to be dead until well, and they it's, are gone. <laughs> it's interesting because as you're holding her, you can see that she has a brown, yep. where most uh, yeah, snakes have a lighter color on the underside, and that would oh, be wow. indication like an animal would be dead. It yep. changes kind of Absolutely. colors. Absolutely. That's what that's there for. Very, very that's cool. That's what that's there for. She's a that's very a nice interesting. Adaptation. Yeah, she's a very interesting creature. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thanks, Karen. Thank yeah, you very course. much. Want to know more about this animals and others like it? Go to our website, homeworkhotline.org, and click on videos. Stay right there. We'll be back in a second.